Hey pals, we just want to say thanks to all those that help us make this show possible. As an independent podcast, we rely on you. If you'd like to find all the ways to support your Miami Vice podcast, head on over to patreon.com slash go with the heat to find out more. Hello and welcome to Go With The Heat. I'm Dominic. And I'm John. I'm Melissa. And this is your cultural guide to the phenomenon that was Miami Vice. This week, we're talking about Season 5, Episode 8, titled Hard Knocks. It originally premiered on January 20th, 1989. It is written by Robert Ward. Now, huh, I mean, just Season 5, feel like they use a lot of the same writers. Like, they, maybe they turned over the whole writer's room and there's only a handful of people. Oh, oh, wait, this guy wrote the episode last week. <laughs> he also wrote Asian Cut. <laughs> he also wrote Redemption in Blood. And he's got seven more episodes coming. He's all of them. Ah, wonder this if is... he was the cheapest writer. <laughs> this has also got a couple co-writers. So Scott Shepard, who also co-wrote Redemption in Blood and Bad Timing. And Ken Solars, who co-wrote Hostile Takeover. And was also on the Redemption in Blood team. They just took that Redemption in Blood to Paris. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the director is Vern Gillum. Oh, Vern. Oh, Vern. Child's Play. Boroska. That's all right. Vern? C- cows. As cows. in Vern and Bob's trucking? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where they got the name. He's responsible for the cows, too. Just just, just putting that out there. He's still got one uh, more coming. Before we get started, could check in and see what's going on in each other's lives. Pals, we've said we are recording this ahead of time. Because Melissa and I are expecting a child, which at this point in time has probably arrived. We're probably struggling to find sleep in between the <laughs> moments of, of a newborn and a toddler plus two teenagers. So, you know, we're just know we're very busy while this episode, we have pre-recorded this episode. All right, John, are you going to tell me that music is similar to the guest stars this week? Like there might be some theme that we're picking up here with as we go into the second half of season five. We ain't got no mice. That's what we got. <laughs> we are continuing to recycle. Believe it or not, folks, this is not a repeat. We have Red Ryder and Mike and the Mechanics in music. So <laughs> if those names sound familiar... That's because they've been in our music many, many times before. Big League is the song by Tom Cochran and Red Rider, which I didn't realize that, but for a short time, they went as Tom Cochran and Red Rider instead of just Red Rider. If you're not familiar with Red Rider, they are the Canadian rock band made famous for their song Lunatic Fringe. Lunatic Fringe's appearance in the movie Vision Quest because... They wouldn't be famous if it wasn't for Vision Quest, obviously. No one would listen to that song. I mean, why would you? <laughs> no one no one loves that song. No one. No one. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, by the way, they play Lunatic Fringe in Smuggler's Blues. They will also, I believe, no. They also put up in music for Can't Turn Back in Tale of the Goat. Mm. Interesting. They get used more often than I thought they would. Yeah, third appearance here. Rather than go through all of Red Rider's stuff, which which we've already talked about, we're just going to talk about Tom Cochran. Tom Cochran is basically the Canadian Bono, by the way. (laughs) I don't know. Uh, he's He's a member of the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. Guy has done all kinds of charity work in Africa and Asia and all over the... That's why I said he's like the Canadian Bono. So a couple cool things that he's also done. In 92, he sang the Canadian National Anthem before Game 2 of the World Series between the Braves and Blue Jays. The Blue Jays would go on to win. Canada, you can thank him for that. You have a World <laughs> Series. Uh, he performed his song, Just Like Ali, in front of Muhammad Ali at halftime in 2002 of Toronto Argonauts game. That's CFL, <laughs> you American people. That That's the Canadian Football League. If someone wrote a song uh, about you and then they perform it for you in front of you do you how long do you maintain eye contact i, I don't know i i'm more confused at why the hell was muhammad ali at a Tur- uh, at a canadian <laughs> football league game how did that happen last thing 2006 rascal flats covered tom cochran's life as a highway for the movie cars now he makes even more money 
or not actually. <laughs> uh, and then in 08, he went out with John Cougar Mellencamp, which seems very fitting. Our next music is Mike and the Mechanics. We have Nobody's Perfect. So Mike and the Mechanics, also their song Far Avian showed up in Yankee Dollar. And Hanging by a Thread showed up in Baby Blues. So this is their third appearance. Not Genesis, by the way. Not Genesis, but Mike and the Mechanics specifically. I say that because Mike and the Mechanics is Mike Rutherford's side project that he had while he was in Genesis. Genesis, Mike Rutherford. Yeah. All right. How about we do this instead? Instead of talking about Mike and the Mechanics for the fourth time, I'm going to name the members of Mike and the Mechanics' former band. The names of their former bands. All right? So... Mike Rutherford, his very the very first band he was in was called the Chesters, <laughs> and then he would go he would go on the Genesis, and then Mike and the Mechanics would be a side project. Least amount of bands. Then we have Paul Young. He was in the Young Brothers, Young and Renshaw. He was in Sad Cafe. Then Mike and the Mechanics, and he also sang the theme to the British kids show Avenger Penguins. <laughs> which I just thought was interesting. Then we have Adrian Lee. He was in a jazz band called Red Hot. Then he was in a Brit goth band called Toya, which was apparently fronted by someone named Toya Wilcock. He would then do Mike and Mike's. Now he does film scores and session work. You can hire him to be your <laughs> keyboardist. And then that leads us to Paul Carrick's. Paul Carrick has by far got the most and most interesting band Former band. So he was in a jazz band called Warm Dust. He left that for Ace, a pub rock band. He was a support musician for Roxy Music. He went solo for a while. Then he was in a band called Squeeze. Followed that up with a band called, a short lived band called Noise to Go. After Noise to Go, be a session musician for both the Smiths and the Pretenders. And then he was in a band called Nick Lowell and his Cowboy Outfit. <laughs> The best name. <laughs> then Mike and the Mechanics, and he would follow that up with the Bleeding Hearts Band with Roger Waters. Mm. So, which, why is why is Roger Waters the Bleeding Hearts Band? Why does that sound like a Beatles ripoff? <laughs> I know. So there you go. Some fan names, some fun actual bands that the members of Mike and the Mechanics were in. <laughs> so, I think Nick Lowell in his cowboy outfit might be my favorite. <laughs> I do appreciate that Vice is going to find ways to torture you with more Genesis stuff. You know, P Peter Gabriel, Phil Collins, Mike the Mechanics, like they're going to they're gonna make sure that make you yeah. talk about them more before the show's over, John. Oh, oh, you know, I, I, I can't be unfair to Peter Van Hook. I almost forgot his bands. Headstone, EZO, the, and then his first band was called The Call of the Wild. <laughs> and then R.R. R. Parnell Independent. He actually created and co-produced Live from Abbey Road on Channel 4. Well, let's go give our final thoughts on this one. I kind of tipped my hand yeah. on my final <laughs> thoughts. Maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's go break this one down for the last time. And that's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Go With The Heat. We would love to hear from you. Email us, gowiththeheat at gmail.com. Let us know what you thought about this episode. And let us know what you think, how deep is this episode, and how bad is Stan's problem. Email us, gowiththeheat at gmail.com. Let us know what you think. Be sure to check out that website, gowiththeheat.com. You can find all the ways to subscribe, all the ways to contact us, all the ways to show your support. Support step number one, go leave us a review on your podcast, your platform of choice iTunes and go ahead and give us a five star review. No one will know that I told you to give me a five star review. No one will have any idea that you wanted to that we wanted you to give the Miami Vice podcast a five star review. We think we're worth five stars. You give us what you want, five stars. And go ahead and leave a review. But not a review of the show. No one ever reads the reviews of the show. Instead, write in there. Write in your favorite Paul Carrick's band. Uh, former <laughs> band. I'm going with Nick Lowe and his cowboy outfit. So, but Warm Dust. Don't forget about Warm Dust. <laughs> support step number two check out that patreon patreon.com slash go with the heat we'd love to see your support that's going to do it for us this week we hope you enjoyed this episode and we'll see y'all next time bye pals